Hello there, in this video, I'm going to show you what is ESP Now Communication and how to start with ESP Now Communication. Let's get started this video. ESP Now is a communication protocol developed by Espressive that features short packet transmission. This protocol enables multiple devices to talk with each other without using Wi-Fi or the internet. It's similar to the low-power 2.4 GHz wireless connectivity. This is a fast communication protocol that can be used to exchange small messages up to 250 bytes. The maximum range of ESP now is about 450 meters. ESP now is very useful and we can use it as one-way or two-way communication in different setups. That is, we can send or receive data to single or multiple devices. Also, we can use it as a mesh network. To send data via ESP now, we need to know the MAC address of the recipient. So, the communication is safe and secure. Here I am showing how to send data from one ESP board to another. That is, we are going to control the LED of the second ESP with the controller ESP. First I place the ESP boards on breadboard. This one I am going to use as the controller ESP. So I connected a push button to pin 4. In the receiver section I am not going to connect anything because we are using the inbuilt LED. So that's all about the hardware connection. Now let's set up the cord. Here you can see the two cords. As I said earlier, we need to know the MAC address of the receiver for communication. So how to find the MAC address? Well, we can simply find the MAC address of the ESB board using this cord. This cord will print the MAC address on the serial monitor. Now let's upload this cord to our receiver node MCU. And after uploading, you can see the MAC address on the serial monitor. Now we need to copy this address. So here is the code for the controller side. First I have included the library files and defined the pin for the push button. And I defined the node MCU as the controller node. Then I provided the receiver section MAC address here. In the setup section I defined the pin mode as input pull up and some commands for serial debugging. In the loop section I am reading the push button status and sending it to the receiver section. That's all. Now I uploaded this code to the controller node MCU. Now in the receiver section code, same as the controller, I added the libraries and defined the built-in LED bin. Then I defined the node MCU as a slave node, that is this node MCU act as the receiver. In the void section, I received the send value and directly writes the values to the LED bin. After uploading this to the receiver node MCU, now let's test. Now you can see the serial monitors of the receiver and controller. See when I press the button, the value of the receiver side goes to zero. So it is working. Now see, I am controlling the receiver side LEDs with the controller push button. You can download all the codes from my website, link is in the description. In the coming videos, I will show you the bidirectional communication and the mesh communication. So that's all about today, hope you learned something from my video. If so, please like, share and subscribe. That's all up to you, I will see you next time.